Hello and welcome to the ARCS. We're live here from Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the running of the Pennzoil 60. Well folks, four races are in the books in the third season of the Adrenaline Racing Cup Series. Who can etch their names into the Las Vegas winners list? We'll have to wait and see. But for now, let's take a look at your top 10 qualifiers in the field. Starting on the pole, the rookie, David Long. In second, Mitch Barrier. In third, the rookie of Eddie Car Carlson. In fourth, Maxwell Smart. In fifth, John Hendricks. In sixth, the rookie of Ryan Just. In seventh, Ricky Quinn. In eighth, Draven Sandy. In ninth, Keith Vega. And rounding out your top 10, Ryan Hubbs. Let's take a look at the rest of the competitors on the list here today for today's race and get right on into the action here at Las Vegas. And we're live here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the running of the Pennzoil 60. David Long, your pollster, and on the outside pole is the 91 of Mitch Barrier in that cheese it car. And just as I say that, we're in the Geico restart zone and we're under green here in Vegas. Who's going to roll the dice today and get a victory here in Nevada? We'll see who can capitalize on strategy here today because there probably will be pit stops. So what team will make the best strategy call here today? We'll have to wait and see as there are 40 laps in this one and we have yet to complete one here today but David Long with a pretty good advantage over the rest of the field as that 48 car with a slick new scheme that Lowe's car of Eddie Carlson the rookie Eddie Carlson we got two rookies up front here today so that's pretty good as David Long leads the first lap here at Las Vegas but Ricky Quinn on that bottom lane is trying to get some draft off of Eddie Carlson for that second place position but so far two car breakaway up at the front here as Eddie Carlson I think is just content with riding with David Long as they're kind of tandem drafting off of each other to try to break away from this field and I think it's working here at Las Vegas who would have thought that Two car, two car tango here up at the front, but Ricky Quinn trying to side draft off of that uh, 42 of John Hendricks, as I believe. Oh, they almost go three wide. I think they are three wide. Yes, they are. As Keith Vega trying to send it to the inside of Ricky Quinn. Oh, and just speaking of sending it to the inside, Eddie Carlson looked to the inside of David Long, that 99 car for Roush Racing, but Eddie Carlson will back off the gas. And speaking of gas, gas will be important here today. Like we said before, fuel strategy will be key here in today's race in the Pennzoil 60, so. And we'll give you a little Pennzoil trivia of the day. The last three seasons here in the ARCS, we've had, in the first season, we had a Pennzoil car win the Pennzoil race here at the Pennzoil 60. In the second season, when we ran here, we had a Pennzoil car get second with Maxwell Smart barely getting the victory. And in the third season, will we see a Pennzoil car get third or or maybe even do better than that maybe get second or first we don't know but the Pennzoil cars just have that extra little I don't know that Pennzoil in the tank I guess or the Pennzoil under the hood as you can see Eddie Carlson there as I was talking gets shuffled out of line and Mitch Barrier will drop beneath him as well as uh, the 38 car of Keith Vega and Ricky Quinn and Ricky Quinn has moved his way up to second and maybe first here as the first challenger for the lead will be Ricky Quinn using that inside lane to pass David Long. And Ricky Quinn will lead this lap. I think, yes, he will. And Keith Vega is going to slot in behind Ricky Quinn. And your top five are Ricky Quinn, Keith Vega, Mitch Barrier, David Long, and hanging on barely, Eddie Carlson on that outside lane. As John Hendricks making it three wide in the middle there. I don't, I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll have to wait and see. As Denzel Scott has made his way to the front here. Hoping there will be no crashes here. Oh, as just as I would say crashes, that 42 car was really side drafting heavily off the 3 car. Of Joshua Harrison. As Ricky Quinn... Oh, Keith Vega trying to chop block that 91. They are getting definitely really aggressive out here. And they are throwing blocks like it is the last 5 laps of the race. But we've barely made it 5 laps in as we're 7 laps in. Of 40 here in the Pennzoil 60. As we have Ricky Quinn, your leader here. Keith Vega stalking him down ever so slightly. And poor David Long getting shuffled to the outside. And he's going to get probably moved back quite a little bit. As that inside line is going to train around David Long on the inside. 
but Ricky, Ricky Quinn up at the front here with Keith Vega challenging. If Keith Vega gets side by side with Ricky Quinn, this will bring the rest of this pack up here. And David Long has broken off of that outside lane and he has dropped to the bottom. David Long has been saved from the curse of the outside line here and was able to get something going. And speaking of getting something going, he almost passes Keith Vega. We'll see if he'll make a move into turn one. He will. He's going to drop to the bottom. Uh, Ricky Quinn's going to block there on the inside lane. We got three wide for the fourth place position as Mitch Barrier drives up the track and puts a nice little block on everybody else. But he's broken away there. And about a four-car breakaway up at the front as we've got Ricky Quinn, Keith Vega, David Long, and Mitch Barrier are your top four. And whoa, that three car is making some interesting moves on the bottom as we've seen a lot of three wide action for that fourth place position. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a wreck and Keith Vega looking to the inside on Ricky Quinn. And we're going to see another pass for the lead, maybe. On the backstretch, they're going to go toe to toe on lap 10. We're a fourth of the way home and Eddie Carlson drops below Mitch Barrier there. Going for the fourth place position, but... John Hendricks will help that 48 car get past Mitch Barrier and that she's at Menard's car, so we'll see how that works out. As David Long, he's looking to get back up to the front here as he had a dominant start to this race, but he just got stuck out to dry on that outside lane, and he's been trying ever so slightly just to find the right way around all these drivers as they've been packed pretty tightly up here. Whoa, as Eddie Carlson with an aggressive move nearly shunts that 99 car out of the way. And as they cross the stripe here, we will have 12 of 40 complete here in the Pennzoil 60. And speaking of Pennzoil, let's take a look at the Pennzoil fastest lap of the day. And that'll go to the 10 car of Matthew Bussey Sr. So good job for Matthew Bussey Sr. And then that second fastest lap goes to Jerry Funk. And third fastest, ironically enough, Keith Vega. And speaking of Keith Vega, he's going for the lead here on the backstretch and going into turn three. Oh, here at Vegas, but... He might not get the lead here, and we'll see who leads this lap here as Keith Vega makes an aggressive move to the inside. So we take a quick look at Richard Petty there as he's just chilling on the, the inside of the track. No cautions here today thus far, which is pretty good. So we'll hopefully see pit stops and green flag pit stops, might I add. Something we've really not seen a lot of this season, but we've seen it come into play a couple times. I believe Atlanta we had some interesting moments as drivers tried to come onto pit road and accidentally wrecked. So that will be interesting, and we'll see today if they can make it on a pit road clean. But before we find that out, we gotta figure out this battle for the lead, as we've got almost three wide for the lead, as Eddie Carlson sticks his nose in there, and we got three abreast for the lead, almost as they go into turn one. Will he make it three wide? He will! Wow, and Keith Vega holds on to the lead, but Eddie Carlson making moves, taking names and making moves here up at the front. But Keith Vega and that Shriners Hospital... A uh, hospital for children car is up at the front. And that 38 car, where is the 38 car's teammate, Jerry Funk? The 38 front row motorsport car has the teammate of Jerry Funk as we look through the running board. And he is 15th roughly on the running board. He's, he's 20th place now on the running board as he falls back just a little bit. But speaking of falling back, this front pack has fallen back just a little bit as they've attempted to go three wide, and that has stalled them out slightly. And that will have to... Uh, we'll have to call up Ricky Quinn to chase down Keith Vega as Keith Vega was hoping to run away. Whoa! And see how close they are, folks. Oh, we got a caution. We have a caution on the speedway. Richard Petty is... Oh, and Diego Taco Blubber. Blubber Plumber has damage, and we'll have to get a Blubber Vision cam. On this one, but 16 to 4. Oh, we got cars up the track! We have cars up the... Jerry Funk is flipping! Jerry Funk's wild ride continues. And he was going down the running order, but he is absolutely flipping through the air. And William Donuts is involved, and we'll have to get two different replays of this accident here at Vegas. Let's take a look at the accident here. Oh, Michael Redinger gets into Blubber Plubber, and Andy Seville back here. An absolute carnage as that two car of Diego Tacone absolutely creamed the wall in three and four, and we'll have to get another replay of the accident after the caution flag flew, as we'll take a look in just a moment. And let's take a look at the other accident that took place as Jerry Funk and Ryan Just, oh, they go to the inside of the track and absolutely annihilate this field that was trying to pace under caution, and Jerry Funk goes flipping through the air 
and he is definitely not having a good time here at Las Vegas, but neither was Ryan Just and the other drivers collected here in this accident after the caution flag flew. And let's take a look at the Blubber Vision Cam. Oh, and that's a hellacious hit for Blubber Plumber and Diego Tacone. And Chris Hergeson's just stopping by to say hello. But Blubber Plumber's definitely shaken up after that accident He's as he writes himself. And hopefully he'll get a better finish than what he's been given here today at Vegas. And we're back here at Las Vegas under yellow flag conditions. And we have pit stops here. I don't believe anybody is staying out, but Jerry Funk obviously on pit road with major damage as the crew, I think, is going to try to get some duct tape out there and hopefully bring that hood down so the driver can see. But Keith Vega obviously leading us onto pit road, and you can see in this camera angle, you got uh, the pace car driver of Richard Petty just kind of just kind of vibing out there. He's just going for a Sunday drive here at Vegas. And every single driver on every single team is stopping here today, and we'll see who gets the best pit stop. We're only about halfway through this race when we'll get back to the action as Cassidy... Re oh! And Blubber Plumber makes contact with Cassidy Reynolds. And Blubber Plumber's day is definitely not going great here. And Keith Vega, I believe, will lead us back to the green here with David Long coming off second. Third, Cassidy Reynolds. Fourth, John Hendricks. Fifth, Ricky Quinn. And I believe sixth was Jack Porter. So there's your top six, as I could kind of see there with the pit signs in the way. But that's okay. We got the majority of the drivers in camera frame and we'll get back to the action here at vegas in just a moment and we're back here at las vegas motor speedway when we come back to green we'll be halfway home in this one but first let's take a look at your drivers who are retired from this race and last place will be the 24 car of theophilus morganorfer jr in 40th chris hergeson in 39th diego tacone in 38th richard morphy in 37th jerry funk who went flying through the air and 36th the 72 of ryan just who also went flying through the air and we're back under green flag conditions. And how about Cassidy Reynolds making it three wide for the lead? Aggressive move on the bottom with that new paint scheme, that Blue Greens Vacations uh, paint scheme serving her well here at Las Vegas. And Ricky Quinn's going to give her a push to the front with Jack Porter giving a little bit of help there. And I believe she's going to lead this lap and Jack Porter's going to challenge on the bottom. But Ricky Quinn's going to be hung out to dry on the outside. But Cassie Reynolds with the lap. And with that, we are past halfway home in this race. Whoa, as Ryan Hubs makes an aggressive move to the inside of Jack Porter. But it's not going to stick as Ryan Hubs was the driver to last win uh, on a track fairly similar to this one at Atlanta at the 1.5 mile configuration. Texas is a 1.5 mile configuration, but it is a trioval track, so a little bit different than this track here at Las Vegas but Jack Porter up here at the front he's gonna make a move for the lead as he dives to the inside of Cassidy Reynolds Porter and Reynolds battle here but will Cassidy Reynolds carry momentum off the top side of the track and she might have just done that wow what a power move for Cassidy Reynolds making the outside work on the straightaway but that's going to give David Long the opportunity to drop to the bottom and just park the bus right in front of Ricky Quinn. Oh, did we have cars making contact on the inside of the track? And I thought we had a car that was going to go around. No, we do not. Saw something out of my peripheral vision that I thought, or speaking of vision, Blubber vision back there. Not much to see from Blubber's POV back there, but he is just riding around trying to get some points here today. But Cassidy Reynolds up front in that as I said before, new paint scheme, the Blue Greens Vacations car. But David Long in that Sitco machine is trying to chase her down. 24 of 40 complete here in the Pennzoil 60. And speaking of Pennzoil, that 14 car technically counts as a Pennzoil car. If you, if you check on the quarter panel of that car, it does have Pennzoil on the side of it. As you can see, that 22 car all the way back in the back of the field has Pennzoil on it, but Ryan Hub's got the best shot to continue the the Pennzoil. Um, I don't know. I want. I honestly don't know what to call it. The the Pennzoil. Um, the Pennzoil would be a curse. The Pennzoil charm here at Las Vegas, but David Long in that Sitco car is leading now after he passed Cassie Reynolds using the bottom and passed Cassidy cleanly as last week at Pocono we saw Bob Verstappen speaking of Bob Verstappen uh, get involved in a little accident with I believe Quinn Porter up at the front 
So that definitely was not good. But Bob Verstappen is up here toward the front, and I believe Quinn Porter is kind of laying back here a little bit, but... And there, speaking of laying back just a little bit, there's Blubber Plumber all the way back there. But Ryan Hubs in that Napa slash Pennzoil car is up at the front, as you can see that yellow Pennzoil colors here. But Bob Verstappen on, Bob Verstappen on that bottom is going to try his hardest to try to get around the other drivers. And I believe Ryan Hubs drops. Oh, and that 27 car of Blubber Plubber's in the way. And where will Blubber sit? Oh, and he's going to sit on the bottom in front of the Pennzoil car. Oh, somebody's got to get around that Pennzoil car as Bob Verstappen gets held up. Will Ryan Hubs jump to the outside? Oh, no. And the Pennzoil, it's not a, uh, it's a Pennzoil curse now here at uh, the Pennzoil 60. But Eddie Carlson going to try to get to the outside. And he will along with Ricky Quinn, Keith Vega, and the Pennzoil cars have absolutely been demolished here in this race. And their luck has pretty much run dry. But poor Ryan Hubs, as he was doing so good, and he's trying his hardest to get around Blubber Plumber and Cassidy Reynolds' will. And I think, oh, Ryan Hubs there. He's going to get around him. Oh, oh no, we have an engine expire. Quinn Porter, and he's going to try to drop down in front of the field, and he might take drivers out. Oh, and everybody slows up to avoid him. And one of the Toyota's engines has expired. That is definitely not a good look for Toyota, and we hopefully, well, hopefully the Toyotas are hoping that they will not see any other of their drivers' engines expire, but David Long and Bob Verstappen have broken away here at Las Vegas. So a two-car battle for the lead. We are still under green. No oil is on the track in the Pennzoil 60 here at Las Vegas. As, you can, as we keep looking at the ticker there, and no caution is out, so they are still green. Ten laps to go. Two cars up at the front. A two-car battle for all of the marbles here today. But will we see that pack of cars behind catch up? That is the question, as Blubber Plumber has thrown the wrench into everybody else's plans here today. And that 2x2 two two will slow them up, as I believe, yep, they are training around the bottom of the track. So, will Ricky Quinn, Eddie Carlson, Keith Vega, and John Hendricks catch the top two drivers? We'll see. Ooh, is Cassidy Reynolds, Ryan Hubs, and that three car, Joshua Harrison, they're kind of formed up as a pack. But will we see these? Oh, I think we'll see those four cars definitely catch the top two, folks, as they are trying their hardest to catch up to Bob Verstappen and that 99 of David Long here at Las Vegas. As William Donuts continues to cycle around on pit road, he might play into the end of this race as we have seen Blubber Plumber. Oh, and Eddie Carlson going to drop to the inside of Ricky Quinn for that third place position. And that's going to stall these guys out back here. That is exactly what the top two drivers wanted to see. Oh, and that move does not work. Oh, and David Long is going to drop to the inside of the 33 of Bob Verstappen, and it is literally a dogfight up at the front here, cat and mouse battle, back and forth between David Long and Bob Verstappen, as Bob Verstappen had some speed last weekend at Pocono, and he was up at the front, unfortunately got wrecked out by Quinn Porter, and as you can see, the 12 car of William Donuts, like I said before, he might play into this race, we'll have to wait and see, oh, and Ricky Quinn has caught Bob Verstappen up here at the front, and that definitely does... David Long does not want to see that. And speaking of more things David Long doesn't want to see, he does not want to see William Donuts in front of him. But William Donuts is going to drop off the track again and go another lap down here at Las Vegas. Six laps to go here in the Pennzoil 60. David Long leads with Ricky Quinn, Eddie Carlson, and Bob Verstappen giving chase. But don't count out Aiden King and John Hendricks way back there in that line. And the rest of the drivers... Back there are just trying to get single file with Cassidy Reynolds, who was leading this race earlier, with Robbie Margot trying to get anything going, but they're going to need overtime to make anything happen here. But David Long still leading, five laps to go as they cross the stripe. Three cars under a blanket, then you've got another three in tow, with a little bit of a gap between the two. Oh, it was William Donuts. He's coming off the track, and he's not going to affect the leaders, but Chris... Or not Chris Ferguson, my bad. He's in the 40 car. The 43 car of Cooper Hones, the rookie, is on that preferred lane on the bottom, but 
Will Ricky Quinn take the preferred lane on the bottom over David Long? And this might not bode well for some drivers. Oh, as Cooper Holmes is going to block the leaders just like Blubber Plumber did earlier. Oh, but the leaders are, oh, maybe going to make it through, and they will. And it's tied up at the front. David Long trying to hold on. He's trying to use that momentum on the outside lane. And David Long holds on over Ricky Quinn just slightly. And Eddie Carlson gets held up slightly by Cooper Hones as well. Oh, and poor David Long. He gets shuffled to the outside. And he'll try to drop back. But Blubber Plubber, I think, is going to strike, strike again here. The Blubber strikes back here at Las Vegas. He let these drivers get through earlier, but let's see if he... Oh, he will def... Oh, and Bob Verstappen makes contact with Ricky Quinn. Oh, and they're going to be three wide for the lead, almost. But Blubber Plumber's going to block him again here at Las Vegas. Bob Verstappen's on the bottom, the preferred lane. Aiden King in tow, along with Eddie Carlson. David Long drops below. But Bob Verstappen, ooh, with the advantage. As Ricky Quinn trying desperately to get away from Blubber Plumber. As Bl ooh, Blubber Plumber nearly blocks another lap car of Cooper Hones. Oh, and poor Ricky Quinn. But the story now is Bob Verstappen and Aiden King, as they are your top two contenders here in this race. But don't count out Eddie Carlson, or even David Long for that matter, as we've seen David Long with that long run speed, no pun intended, here today at the Pennzoil 60. But Aiden King, he's looking to the bottom here. And he, oh, he is very close here at Las Vegas. He is, oh, he can taste victory here at Las Vegas. Two laps to go. Bob Verstappen, Aiden King, Eddie Carlson is there. Aiden King in turn one and two. Will he make his move? If he gets side by side with Bob Verstappen, that will allow that 48 car of Eddie Carlson to sneak in there. As they're coming to the white flag here, Bob Verstappen still has the lead. Will Aiden King make his move? Or will Eddie Carlson pounce and hang out that one car to dry and let Bob Verstappen run away? Final lap, one to go. Will Bob Verstappen win this race? Oh, and Eddie Carlson makes a move to the inside of Aiden King. And will that seal the race for Aiden King and Eddie Carlson as Bob Verstappen in that Red Bull Chevrolet? He's been so close this season after he started up fairly decently at Pocono but got wrecked out by Quinn Porter, and he could almost taste the victory there, but he's going to taste the Red Bull in victory lane, and Bob Verstappen, the rookie, is going to win here at Las Vegas, and he's going to break the streak here in the Pennzoil 60, and a Red Bull car is victorious. You can't really drink Pennzoil, but I tell you one thing, you can drink Red Bull, and that Red Bull crew is very happy here today, and Monster Energy will get second place here today, so two drinks that you can drink, here today, 1-2, and the highest finishing rookie in the field was Bob Verstappen, funny enough. But David Long comes up short in fourth, another rookie, along with Eddie Carlson in third. So again, congratulations to Bob Verstappen, and we'll get you the rest of the drivers in just a moment. And we're back here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway after the running of the Pennzoil 60, and the Pennzoil 60 luck did not fare well for Ryan Hubbs and Sean Carson here today, but one driver that did have good luck was the Red Bull of Bob Verstappen collecting his first career victory on the season and his career, so good job to Bob Verstappen. In second, we have Aiden King in the Monster Energy car coming up short, but a good run in the points for Aiden King. In third, the rookie of Eddie Carlson, good run for Eddie Carlson. In fourth, David Long, who led a lot early in the race, but dropped off toward the middle and later stages. In fifth, John Hendricks. In sixth, Ricky Quinn, who got screwed over by lap traffic on multiple occasions. In seventh, Robbie Margot, who had a pretty quiet day, but gets a top 10 finish for her efforts, pretty good. In eighth, Joshua Harrison. In ninth, Matthew Bussey Jr. with another quiet day. And Armando O'Reilly, the rookie, we did not say his name at all today, but he gets a top 10 finish. As we look through the running order here, we had roughly nine cars out of this event or a lap down with William Donuts. An abysmal 11 laps down, and Quinn Porter with a piston issue. That's why we saw him go off track. But again, congratulations to Bob Verstappen in the Red Bull on his berth in the playoffs. We'll see you next week at Armory Digital Super Speedway, folks.